So I wanted to make a quick video just to drop on YouTube and Facebook. But, um, I just done 19 months in prison. Uh, some people thought I'd done 9 months. Some people said I got it over graffiti. I didn't get it over graffiti. I got it over breaking up the Tussler Center in Clonmel. I broke all of the windows. And um, the local jurisdiction tried to give me bail. And I refused it. Like I said, uh, I, um, I was getting bail whether I wanted it or not. So I had to go out and do another stupid thing just to keep them on that subject. Um, the reason why I'd done that to Tusla was my sister, when she was a child, claimed that she was raped in state care. The state moved her out of that care after complaining several times. We only knew that she said it once. So the state moved her to a robust form of state care. They kept her on medication, heavy medication, since she was a child till her young adult years. When they would later admit that she didn't need that medication, they just fucked her up. They swept it under the carpet so it would never hit the newspapers. And um, only later, when my older sisters brought a case against the state, did um, they find out that her hymen was broken at 11 and that she had made these claims several times. Um... During that time, as soon as my sisters had brought out uh, this uh, case against the state, there was a conundrum because once Andrew had been released, they ran out of funding, believe it or not, and they'd done a second test on her and said, oh, she's no longer a handicap, which is what they called her, basically. They said that she was mentally retarded and had to be in state care. They said that she was no longer mentally retarded and they left her go. And... Um, Someone in the Tusla let people know that this young one was being released with money and within a, a space of a month this clique was pimping her out all over the north of Ireland, down into the Midlands and then down through Cashel and Clonmel and uh, passing her over. And Tusla kept trying to sweep it under the uh, counter, or under the carpet, as the proverbial saying goes. You know, we can see all the things that have happened with Tusla over the last a few years anybody see that probably didn't okay it's more local ones too anybody see this and i'm probably holding the camera the wrong way i probably should be holding it this way but there we go it's not like it it's not like the first part marks it anyway um more on Leo. More on the human trafficking, try to find that. All to do with the INLA actually, just like in Clamwell, where they're mixing up with Polish and uh, Romanians. I'm not sure it's only it's the flesh market, sure. These freedom fighters, you know, they can only ever claim to be freedom fighters by stealing the liberties of other foreign people. Oh, this is the one that uh, Francis Fitzgerald would talk about. This uh, this whole scenario here, I'm sure you're familiar with that. Yeah. So, I went to jail. They gave me 19 months for breaking the windows. I broke some car windows and mirrors. Apologise for that, 100%. But uh, I, I couldn't leave that happen. They knew that they were sending me out of that court's jurisdiction on a bail that I didn't want because they wanted to put every matter under the carpet. So whoever spread that around Clonmel that I got nine months for graffiti. Sure, you were always working for the cops and everything, as far as I can fucking remember, yeah, you little cunt. Anyway, these are all the, the forms I have for the ombudsman. Irrelevant of how viable it was, the, the forms that, the, the, the claims against them, some of them were for head injuries when they released me with um, serious head injuries and damage to the retina in my eye what have you a load of things they, they made me sign my own head injuries release form they wouldn't give out the name of a guard in charge to, you know, in an ongoing case which is illegal I think it's either section 7 of 11 or 11 of 7 um, guaranteed to us by the commissioner for the charter for fundamental rights the uh, European commission these are all the letters from state Catching Sabon's office. Minister Catherine Sabon's office, you know, don't you know? As long as it's only paddies that are giving out, won't go far. Nobody in the board you'll see or the ascendancy got hurt in the raping of our family. 
and um, and Francis Fitzgerald. Thank you as well, Francis, for allowing that happen to my sister. When the cases were going on, my older sisters they tried to um they tried to bring a case against the state, and the conundrum was that they couldn't have a state against the case without a state against the pimps. Uh, a case against the pimps because um they were both held and both and tied up, and what was happening to this child of the state who had no parents. And uh, these people start working on our family, just like Morton and all. Mort Ivy recorded a good few times. The Gardaí refused the recordings. Drop them one line or it's here and there. So you knew it was a man, all that. When I do put out the documentary on YouTube, it'll make a lot of sense to people. I also promised I'd be putting out um, a piece of work called The Incest Play at Clonmel. And the recordings that I promised would be on that won't be on that. They'll be on the YouTube documentary. It's just become more... Um, it's it's just going to be easier mediums to pair together uh, rather than um, rather than writing and then audio audio and visual would be possibly the best and um my sisters decided my older sisters that they wanted um they want the control of andrea who the state has said is a mentally challenged person who they wanted nothing to do with anymore they just want to keep sweeping it under the carpet what has happened to many of us in state care and um, it got to the point where the state refused them um, custody over Andrea because they had ongoing cases going against the state and it would be all too easy to win um, Andrea went to her doctor O'Leary in Clonmel praying about what these people were doing they were holding guns and all to her head probably replicas for sure when you are legally uh, mentally uh, retarded how the fuck would you know anything other than that so thank you, the rhymes and the feelings for pimping out uh, a, a mentally challenged girl. You knew what you were doing, you greasy fucking pimps. Just like the IRA, you're nothing but dirt. And meantime, the, uh, the state refused my older sisters, who were all very sedentary, um, custody over Andrea. She, she now has um, venereal diseases. They've already admitted she is the mind of an 11-year-old. And um, it's not ongoing because the Gardaí, the Gardaí led a campaign against us to shut us up so, on our history and all because we all have shameful things. I have one thing to say, Garda Mark in Holy Cross, he's going out with one of my sisters. And I know why you were trying to shut it up and throw us all back under the carpet. Mark, 100%, Margaret was making me lift her out. So was my sister Trace. So was um, Christine too. And there's more than that too. So whatever they were trying to shame you against from going any further in this case, I'm going to make you realise it anyway. That is what happened. I wouldn't say it if it didn't. That is what happened 100%. I will talk about anything that you try to throw in my face. And I won't stop talking about it. We will all address it. Because by the time that the incest plague is written in finite detail, regarding what we had to go through since we were kids even, at, the, at varying degrees with the policies changed towards us from family members, some of us went to good foster families, what have you. But anyway, I didn't go to jail for nine months for spraying graffiti. I went to jail for 19 months for breaking up a tussler centre. So ever saying that is just having a bit of a, what to say, they're playing what they're always playing. We are the paddies. No burgessy or ascendancy got hurt in this and they're only afraid. The only thing that they have to be worried about is that somebody will get a slap in the wrist, um, how would I say, professionally. They don't give a fuck. When I put up the pictures and everything and the recordings that the Gardaí have refused because they knew I caught I caught them out a lot of times. Like a little sprat and the guard wouldn't take it on. You couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut and you loved yourself. And I caught you and everybody's going to hear them all 100%. So this is all the documentation I have. And also it's scattered. I, I am homeless now in, in a sense. This is all the documentation scattered. These, these are only fucking a lot of good stories, similar how the state acts, how they'll only pick certain candidates. But this is all the documentation regarding that. That and um, the historical accounts will go into the um the incest play of Clonmel. The documentary that'll be um maybe an hour, an hour and a half, along with twenty minutes of recordings.
Now, the 20 minutes of recordings, the stop and the go and the stop and the go, and some of them are one liners. You can hear the one liners if you want, but you will hear the, the culture of how they're being dropped into the rest of the conversations, a reason why it should be there, trying to shut us up because Cosgroves know what they always were a pack of fucking cunts. <laughs>